Alright guys, welcome back to Tech and Turn. Today I want to talk about a question I get all the time and I recently got earlier today, which is um, what projects should I put on my resume? This question doesn't have a, a perfect answer. I'm actually going to give you some real project ideas, but before I get into that, um, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about what's coming. Tech with Tim coming on the show. We've got Jossie Linje. These are both guys that have been on the show uh, on the podcast version. We're going to be uploading those to the YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we've got another episode of the podcast that's being ported over about uh, how my friend Kyle Ash automated his application process for finding an internship. And he has some, it's not just automating LinkedIn or something that you've heard a million other people do. He's got this really, really good idea uh, that got him an internship. So I think it's really fantastic for you guys to tune in and listen to those. Don't forget also there's a resume critique giveaway going on right now. I am actually gonna do tutorials on some of these ones that got me internships. So those are gonna be uploaded to this uh, channel coming really soon too. Those include like automating Instagram tasks and a smart mirror. There's some really cool stuff in there. You kind of have to tailor what projects you want on your resume for what job you want. So if you don't know what job you want, don't worry about it. Just go listen to all my suggestions. If you want to do front end, for example, you're gonna wanna tune into my smart mirror uh, tutorial where we actually build a whole front end in React. Basically, you wanna do projects that are in the field that you wanna to have a job. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward, right? So let me just kind of go through it. Like the very first application I, I wrote that I put on my resume, it, it was just uh, an app, which was like a meme generator, which I made at Kent Hack Enough, which is a, a hackathon at Kent State. It's just this really basic application that like randomizes text and puts an image under the text. It, it was pretty basic. So the next one I wanna talk about, I made in second year, it was this currency converter. So I followed a tutorial on how to build a weather app in uh, Android Studio. But instead of building the weather app, I built a currency converter. So I took something a lot of other people had on their resume and I tweaked it just slightly. Uh, and that made me stand out just a little bit more. So here, here comes the application that, uh, that kind of, I think made me stand out a little bit. It's called Spotify to YouTube MP3. Now, when I was a poor student, I didn't have money to buy Spotify. So I did previously have a Spotify account and I decided to cancel it. But I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this music now. Like I had these playlists, uh, I, I don't wanna lose all of that. So I wrote this application called Spotify to YouTube MP3, which is a set of Python scripts that you log into Spotify with and then it downloads all of your music on YouTube. Now, the, the good thing about this one is it it's unique. No one else has done it. It's it's solving a we, real world problem. And this actually got the attention of some recruiters. Now, one recruiter was not very happy because he's like, oh, you're stealing. I mean, I guess he's right. But, uh, you know, I was a student at the time. What are you going to do? So I've actually rewritten these scripts because I want to do a tutorial on this, this one. I, I, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to build it. The reason I want to do this is because we're going to use the Spotify API. We're gonna go through the whole OAuth flow to actually log into Spotify and retrieve Spotify user playlists. So I think it's it's gonna be really cool. Next thing I worked on, I went to Hack Harvard. I worked on this project with a few friends called TLDL, we called it, which was an application that basically you, it's an app on your phone and a lot, I did a lot of apps. Uh, an app on your phone and you turn it on, you sit in your lecture and it listens to your professor speak and it translates the notes and then it uploads them for you. So that was another really cool application. That one is that is less controversial. I'll put my GitHub in the description and you will be able to find all of these applications. Instagram scripts is another one I made. I made this Instagram script that would log on to Instagram for you and look at your followers and then look at who you follow and then tell you, who doesn't follow you back. You know, it, it actually ended up being quite a fun experience. Use Selenium, use Python. Uh, it was really fun. So I, I also updated these scripts and I've already shot and filmed a whole tutorial series on how to do that. And that is coming out in, in a few, in two weeks maybe. It's, it's coming out really soon. Uh, stay tuned for it. But last but not least, this is my biggest project. This is the one that got the most attention. And this is the one that got me to Microsoft. And that is uh, a smart mirror. Now you might, Google 
or YouTube smart mirror, how to build a smart mirror. And what you'll find is everybody does the same thing. There's this application called uh, Magic Mirror, I think. And they get one of these bad boys, they get a Raspberry Pi, and they, you know, they just download some software on here and then they run it and then they build some really cool frame and then they throw it up on their wall. And that's not what I did. I wrote the entire GUI for it. Uh, and then I also wrote a virtual assistant to go with it. So you could speak to it. I rewrote the scripts recently and it used to be in Python, the, the whole GUI, and I rewrote it to be React. So you're gonna get some really like up-to-date, you know, useful programming frameworks like React on your resume. And you're also gonna have a really cool project. Like nobody builds smart mirrors using code. If you guys are getting value or if you like some of these ideas, please comment, tell me which ones you wanna see. So last but not least, there's a project, well, there's a few projects actually I've built since I started working at Microsoft. The very first one is Leap Party, which you've probably heard about. And I'm also gonna help people build features in Leap Party. Leap Party is basically competitive programming on Leap Code. It's a Chrome extension. You can actually find a video of me facing off against an Uber engineer in the channel. It's live right now. I mean, it's got 130 active users. Go ahead and give it a try. Um, and another thing I built was using machine learning, a convolutional neural network that would determine if a picture was of a fully stocked shelf or if it was a picture of an empty shelf. So that was kind of fun and it had some implications. I figured that, you know, social medias could ask people not to post pictures that were fear inducing if if it wasn't true. Like if the whole food, the whole store actually had food and they were just posting it at the toilet paper. Um, but other than that, you know, it wasn't actually used. So the be basically the best project I ever built was Leap Party, which you can actually go try right now, and uh, the Smart Mirror, which we're gonna build together. Now, like I said, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content, and let me know what you guys wanna build. Like there's tons of stuff that's not on this list that I know you guys wanna try. Different technologies maybe, you wanna get more, more low level for all I know. And I'd be more than happy to, to whip up a tutorial to, to help you get your next internship. So thank you guys so much for, for joining me today. Uh, I really hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.